When Small HD started, we were 100% focused on re resolution. You know, we wanted an HD picture for our HD camera. And that made a lot of sense. We felt like we could focus the camera perfectly by having that right in front of us. And that's really true most of the time, but there are these instances where you're either further back from the screen or you've been shooting for 12 hours and your eyes are a little bit tired, where some type of filter can come in really handy um, if it's there to really make that focal plane pop. Our new focus assist improves on the previous version in two ways. Firstly, to make the actual image much more visible so that framing and focusing can be done simultaneously, and the edge peaking effect is now more pronounced, making in-focus areas very clearly visible even when viewing the monitor from a distance. The way a focus assist works is determined by a couple variables that can dictate how accurate and how visible the highlighted area is displayed on any given monitor with a focus assist feature. The first is by looking at the amount of change in contrast in a particular area, and the other is by looking at the proximity at which pixels change in value, meaning if a gray pixel is directly next to a dark gray pixel, this method is active. Small HD's implementation of Focus Assist incorporates more of the proximity-based detection method for its edge highlight, because it is better designed to detect what an in-focus image actually produces. For an example of how this actually affects the image, we have a rack focus with some low contrast carpet in frame. Since the actual change in value from one pixel to the next, even for in focus areas, is quite minor, this is where a more contrast dependent approach would begin to falter. But as you can see, the DP4 seeks out minor changes in close proximity, making the in focus area very pronounced, even for a low resolution source image such as the 480p output of the Canon 5D's record mode. Another factor that helps the DP6 and DP4 provide such an accurate focusing aid is the processing. It actually works on the full resolution image before outputting to the display. So if you're shooting in 1080p, Focus Assist Plus analyzes and works on that signal at its native resolution before outputting the result. What this means is the focus assist on the DP4, even though the monitor is 800 by 480, will provide an output that is totally accurate and true to the 1080p source image. Just be sure that your camera's monitor output is set to 1080p to gain the most benefit. Here's a comparison of focus assist features from various monitors on the market. We're of course biased in our belief that the DP6 and DP4 are the best out there, but we also fully understand different people have very different preferences when it comes to the way that their gear works, and this will hopefully enlighten you to what you can expect from a focus assist feature. One factor to take into account is though the focus assist on the Zacuto EVF is not extremely pronounced, it is designed to be used as an EVF, and therefore distance viewing is less of a consideration. As a filmmaker, we don't want you using all of your mental energy on turning the focus dial. We want that to be 
uh, mindless in a way. We want you to be able to clearly see that focal plane so that you can use your energy elsewhere, more in the artistic side. Um, so there are things you don't want to mess up. You don't want focus to be messed up. You don't want exposure to be messed up. But uh, these shouldn't be things that consume the energy of the filmmaker. And that's, that's on us, you know. That's why we're trying to create these tools and make a better monitor.